Hey, hey, everybody, it's Capper from Lantern Lake Capital. So hopefully you've been having a good time uh, with this video series going over the book Structuring and Raising Debt and Equity for Real Estate by Rob Beardsley. Uh, um, again, amazing book. And so I've been getting, you know, I've been putting out this content, right? Uh, kind of going chapter by chapter. I've been speaking with a lot of folks. I've been getting a lot of great feedback. One was that apparently... There's no way to uh, look cool drinking from a straw on video, so you know what? We're just gonna you know, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Two, it, I, I've been chatting with uh, with one of my founders, Ben, one of my partners, and kind of trying to frame these videos. And uh, one. What is the point of what I'm doing? Well, you can dig into that a lot. You can really go deep. I'm like, what's the point of content marketing, right? Any content marketing. Um, and it gets into, you know, different influencers and their strategy. So content, why is my pen up? Content marketing. You know, the ultimate goal is twofold. One when I talk to fellow GPs and when I talk to LPs, potential investors, like I want to be on the same page here. And if you've watched this video series, you know me, you know how I think, you see our strategy here here at Lantern Light, and it becomes much more straightforward to start that initial conversation. And then there's also that degree of trust, right? Uh, alternatively or concomitantly, the other goal is to basically put ourselves out there, right? This is a form of marketing. So again, our entire like mantra um, throughout this in this entire series has been for banks, you should negotiate. And for potential investors, you should be uh, transparent and know your customer. Do what's right and know your customer. And know your customer, this concept gets to the idea of like different investors have different goals. And you as a GP should understand the goals and thoughts of your, uh, of your LPs. And some of them might not be as savvy. Most of them don't know the details of the deal the same way that you do because you're the one running the deal. And so this this video series tries to kind of uh, smooth those relations and make it so that we're all on the same page here. Now, I would like to think that it goes without saying, but it's important to say, you know, this is not financial advice, and right? I, I've always it all I always scoff ever so slightly at that trope, right? Because it's like these guys are clearly out there discussing their. Um, their business and, you know, in a way, putting it out there to, to where the, the flow of the relationship is so that you are very financially intertwined in the future, right? If you are an investor with Lantern Light, we are financially intertwined. Um, and so that whole, this is not financial advice, I found it very interesting, right? But, it, you know, it's important to put out there. And it gets, again, to this concept that I keep kind of going into, which is the semantics of these deals and the deep understanding. So I'd like for you to have a deep understanding of what this video is. And, th and that's what it is, right? It's a training video. It's educational. It's putting ourselves out there, our method out there, our way of thinking out there. And of course, this is not like strict, strict financial advice. Now, I could ramble on and on about the whole financial advice thing for a while. Like, uh, it's my belief that interacting with a financial advisor also carries some degree of risk. And even you want to take it to the like top tier. Uh, I, I would say you're always, you're always uh, investing. So no matter what you're holding an asset. And this again is getting into a more kind of macro uh, conversation, but Let's say you're the guy who's just so scared of anything and you're you're the prepper and you bury all your gold in your backyard. Backyard. So, you know, you have all your assets in gold. Well, that is an that is not very a very sound investment uh, unless, well, you have that knowledge that 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 this particular gentleman or gentlewoman may have, which is that you know, the impending collapse of society is near. And to them, this is the best play, right? 
they want to invest only in gold, but they're holding everything in gold. Some people would say, might say, well, that's very safe, right? Well, gold could go up or down. We could find a, a, a comment that is, you know, billions of pounds of gold and we mine that comment or comment or whatever. Oh, okay, fine. That's like the kind of joking type one. But what about uh, my friend? You know who you are? One of my doctor friends. He just has everything in cash. Well, it's 2023 right now. Uh, and for the past several years, he lost, you know, whatever, 11 percent, uh, eight to 11 percent due to inflation. So he his bank account. Oh, it's very safe. And it, the, the number didn't go down. That's for sure. But he put all of his eggs in one basket within the cash basket. And he did lose money. So no matter no matter wh where you put your assets, your money, effectively, you are investing in that particular um, thing, you know, whether it's gold, whether it's stocks, stocks, whether it's businesses, right? Whether it's commodities, commodities, and I know I can't spell hashtag deal with it. My partner, Ben, already made fun of me once for spelling dual. This is for you, Ben. Dual tranche. There you go, bud. I got rid of the U. I wanted it there. U. No. It's about dual tranche. Um, point is, you're always investing in something. And so, listen, this video series is not financial advice, but it is an awesome lecture, an awesome discussion, something that I'm passionate about. Um, we're not selling a particular investment here. And, you know, Ben said one thing. I was talking about the waterfall, the stack, right? In a storage deal or any commercial real estate deal, who gets paid back first? I've said this multiple times, right? The bank, preferred equity. These are just equity investors that get a fixed rate. Say they have 9%. And then if the deal does really, really well, they don't get paid more than their 9%. And then your standard common equity, which is divided into your LPs, aka your standard investors, 100% fixed. Okay. And then your GPs get paid us, right? GPs get paid last. And uh, I, I was basically saying, Ben said, well, hey, you know, in, in the one video, you kind of said the following, well, the LPs can't lose money. And I'm like, oh, my God, uh, I would hope that I didn't say that. And uh, to clarify here, well, all of us can, can lose money, right? There is <clears> – <throat> I think I touched on that concept. If for the investment to go – the entire asset to go to zero would be fairly rare. Um, even if it burns down, you have fire insurance, all that. Uh, but, you know, these are uh, riskier investments than keeping your money just in pure cash. And there is a chance that your initial, say the LPs, they put, you know, 100K each, right? They definitely can lose that money. What I was saying is that the LPs, and this was actually a big concern of mine when I first got into this, um, coming in as an LP, right, sample deal, we'll just, should have made the sample deal the same, $10 million, $3 million down, down, and that means $7 million loan from the bank, right? And this is from the from the uh, equity partners, right? That down payment, if you will, thinking about it like a house, you know, that down payment is from the equity partners, a aka the people that we will be pitching to raise money uh, when the time comes. And then the rest is typically financed through the bank. Um, point is, these equity partners can lose money. Shoot, the bank can lose money. That's why they underwrite it. Everybody can lose money. Now, is the whole asset going to go to zero? That would be exceedingly rare, right? Uh, I think I used the example before. Um, you'd have to find like nuclear waste on site, right? Because you have insurance for most of these things, fire and uh, massive damage. So the, the entire asset isn't going to go to zero. Now, can you lose your, lose your money? Yeah, you can lose money. You can also make money too, right? And that's the whole point of any investment. Um, but 100% you can lose money as an LP, as a GP, as anybody. You can lose money. 
Um, but as an LP, you are not liable. Uh, if the whole thing really does poorly, right? If this goes from 10 million and it ends up being worth 5 million, oh crap. Well, how much do you still owe the bank? Well, you owe them 2 million, right? You owe the bank 2 million. Who's liable for that? Well, where if this whole asset only is worth 5 million after five years, well, the people that put their money down, they're out done. And then uh, the bank needs paid back their 2 million and the GPs, depending on the type of loan, the GPs uh, are on the hook for that. And and that's why they look, look at um, minimum um, net worth and all these other things. The bank is looking at from the GP side, who's underwriting these deals, assuming it's a recourse loan. Um, But the LPs are definitely, definitely not in any deal we would structure. We would never have our LPs and anybody in the industry. It's, I I guess maybe there's people out there. I don't know. I've never met anybody that had it. So an LP was liable. So the only risk at risk capital, they call it the only at risk capital is your initial investment, which you definitely can lose. So hopefully that clarifies that. Uh, And again, you know, it's in financial advice and we're not shilling an individual uh, investment here. We're trying to form a relationship. So, you know, my info, um, Jordan at lanternlightcap.com. Uh, feel free to, to reach out. We're, we're always here. Let me, uh, let me double check. I want to make sure I give you the right phone number here. I have my cell. Uh, I have another number that goes to my other cell. So this is, I have two cells. One, both are on me all the time. So you guys reach out. My number is 484 228 one, two, four, two. That is my personal cell, my business cell. Um, and you can reach me anytime. I'll chat about all of this stuff. Uh, glad to chat about life, about self storage investments, uh, about finances. I find it very, very interesting. Uh, this is, this is just fun for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, wishing you all the very best. This is cap from lantern light capital. God bless.